Have you ever been innocently watching late night television to have an infomercial come on and promise you a simpler, faster, easier way to accomplish everyday tasks like hanging pictures? Today, we test under the roof decorating, hanging level. Can it really be that easy? Can it really be that simple? Well, let's find out. So the hanging level says that it's as simple as place your picture on the hooks. Position your picture on the right spot on the wall. Find the right spot. Press the buttons. A metal pin marks exactly where the nail goes. Hammer the nail directly into the mark. Hang your picture and level it using the tool. Repeat to create picture groupings. Mm. So my question is, is it that simple? You have the option of hanging on a single hook or double hooks for more stability. It says it could be used with picture wire, sawtooth hook, D-ring, D-ring, or keyhole. Let's just look at build quality. Let's open it up. Wow, so we have also have a level here for plumb. It also has some nice felt feet. So when you're running the tool against the wall, you're not marring your wall. Pretty cool. I like that feature. I like that feature as well. A print as large as, let's say, Van Gogh's Starry Night. How would you put this up on the wall? And mark it. And then, well, you'd hold it in place, as they say. Look up. Okay. And then, there's no way for me to find center on this wall, okay, using this tool. So if I wanted to center this on the wall, that would be a, a two-man operation, it seems. The only way I could maybe find center on the wall would to me mark above the picture, and then that mark would be visible after I've hung my picture. 39 and 3 eighths. And 39 and 3 eighths. Now, without moving the hanging level, I'm going to lift this off. Okay. You, you're on, you good? Yeah. Now we're off. Did you move it all, Sean? It, this part did not move. So we're gonna plumb it. We're level. Now, I need you to, have you not moved? Not moved. Okay. Move your hand up and then push down. A? No. B and C. Yes. B and B actually. B and B. One, two. So we mark our hanging position. We're choosing to use these elite hangers. Now it's not illustrated on the directions from under the roof decorating, but the only way to use this type hanger with those marks would be to, instead of inserting your nail and hook into the mark that you, into the hole that you've marked here, you would want to get a ladder if you're five foot four, <laughs> and then mount the bottom of the hook to the indentation on the wall. And Sean's going to illustrate that because he's much taller than I am. Boom. Now we're plumb. Ta-da! Simple as that. What if we wanted to hang a picture at the same exact level as this picture, but a different size. Let's test the ability of the hanging level to do that. Let's see about hanging these two frames perfectly level and in line with this larger picture to the left and right of it. So this has the keyhole mechanism. According to the directions, all we would do is get our hanging level, insert it into the keyhole, and hold it up in place. An inch. Okay. Okay, pop the picture off. Push your tab. Down here. There we go. Pop your picture off. 
push your tab. Once again, we're going to be using our standard picture hangers here. Or, I'm sorry, elite hangers. So we'll have to hold the bottom of the hanger to the hole that we've made in the wall or the indentation. of it, hanging level actually works. We were able to easily position our pictures in place, get them level with one another. What hanging level will not do is replace an actual tape measure for placement. Pictures spaced from left to right of one another, and even if we were to hang another picture below this picture here, you would still need to use a tape measure if you wanted to equally distance frame away from frame. For us to, in the real world, hang these pictures level with one another, okay? We have a wire on the back of this print and then two keyholes on the back of the smaller pictures, okay? We would need to draw a level line across the wall. We would then need to take the measurement from the wire to the top of this picture, then take a measurement from the keyhole to the top of those pictures. Put additional marks measuring the distance from the hangers for the wire where that will hang this picture and then make additional distance marks for the two pictures to the left and right. Can it save you time? Yes. Is it worth $15 to save that time? Yes. That makes the hanging level a win especially if you have to hang and level a house worth of pictures. If you're making a collage on the wall with multiple pictures, this is gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. Okay, this is, this actually does what it says it will do. It'll get it done faster, quicker, simpler. Go check them out online. They did not pay or sponsor us in any way to create this video. I was just intrigued. By their, by their advertisement. I wanted to check it out and let you guys know if the hanging level does what it says it could do, and it does. If you like this video, we hope you'll give it a like. Leave your comments below. Do you own the hanging level? Would you buy the hanging level? Or would you prefer to use the old tape measure and your own level? Do you want to do it the old fashioned way? Are you into newfangled products? Let us know in the comments section below. For some other great videos, check out our links over here. If you like our channel, consider getting subscribed. Smash that like button. And with that, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. And have a great day.